Hi, I'm Kuma Cody and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I'd go through my NES game collection. Um, I didn't realize I had so much garbage in this collection. A lot of these games I don't even remember what they're about or what you do in them. But uh, there's a lot of games that I'm very fond of as well. Um, little gaming uh, history of mine is I actually had NES up until I got a Nintendo 64. My family didn't buy a uh, Super Nintendo at all. So, yeah, I had, and when I did get a 64, it was until the Jungle Green um, Donkey Kong 64 that I got one. For the longest time, NES is all I've had. So, let's go through the collection. The first game, <laughs> Wayne Gretzky Hockey. <laughs> Uh, I can't recall ever really playing this, so... <laughs> um, I got this game. Not even gonna attempt to pronounce <laughs> what that's called. Uh, Street Fighter 2010. So this is... An, I'm under the impression that this is the first Street Fighter game. It's nothing like Street Fighter. Don't play it. Um, next one up is Operation Wolf. Don't remember at all. Uh, Spy Hunter, Super Pitfall, made by Activision, you know, they could do a reboot of this guy and make it like Uncharted, Activision, Ikari 3 The Rescue, no, I don't remember, <laughs> Acclaimed Star Voyager, Fighting Golf, uh, Thundercade, <laughs> Terminator 2, I just, I don't really remember if this is bad or good, I just remember it's really hard. Uh, next one is Demon Sword, um, Dark Man, <laughs> um, Marble Madness, uh, I have Platoon, Air Fortress. Don't remember. Oh, here's a good one. Double Dragon 2. That's actually a pretty good one. Dr. Jekyll and Garbage. Uh, Destination Earth Star. Freedom Force. Milan Secret Castle. Uh, Castle of Dragon, Golf, uh, Flying Warrior, Flying Dragon, uh, John Elway's Quarterback, <laughs> Spot, uh, a lot of people probably don't remember, but these little guys were actually the 7-Up logo back when I was a kid, so this is like... 7 up the game. Um, it's kind of like um, Connect 4. It was actually, I had fun with it when I was a kid. Uh, this game, I, the font's really weird, I can't even make it out. Uh, Times of Lore. Cobra Command. And these are like the weird, I guess this is like Max 15, it's like 15 random games in one cartridge. Then I have a few of the Tengen cartridges, so Afterburner, Gauntlet, uh, Vindicators, yeah. <laughs> so that was most of the games I don't really play much or very fond of. Um, so now I got uh, these games coming up. Qbert. <laughs> this game's really hard, but yeah, whenever stuff falls on him or you jump on some one of the bad guys, he swears. Uh, track and field. So <laughs> lots of history with this game. Um, my sister's really good at this game, and she would always, 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 always beat me. Uh, I don't think I've ever beaten her at this game. 
Mendel Palace. So this game is actually made by Game Freak. And if you know Game Freak, they make Pokemon. So the sprites actually look like NPC and Pokemon Red and Blue. Basically in this game, you push people into walls. <laughs> and once you push all the people that are in the level into the wall, you win. Next stage. Uh, this is actually a pretty fun game. I enjoy this game. Uh, next one is Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. So next up is <laughs> Mario Bros and Duck Hunt. So everybody, everybody has this game. <laughs> I even have two copies. I don't even know why. But that's not the only game I have two copies of. Um, I have two copies of Metal Gear. <laughs> I have two copies of Ninja Gaiden 1 <laughs> and Ninja Gaiden 2. Um, I have two copies of <laughs> Final Fantasy. I have two copies of Dragon Warrior, which is Dragon Quest now, or it always was in Japan. Um, I also have two copies of Tetris. I think that's all of my doubles. <laughs> oh, never mind. So, I have Robocop. This is actually a pretty good game. But then they made Robocop 2, which is a shitty game. I <laughs> have two copies for some reason. Um, next up is Dodgeball. So I really like this game. This is really fun. Uh, the sprites are very expressive, so when you hit them with the ball, their like, faces, their eyes come out, stuff like that. This is a good game. Um, Journey to Silius. This is also a really fun game. Um, Star Tropics. Um, lots of people are very fond of this game. This is a very, very good game. I really hope that Nintendo brings this back eventually sometime. Um, I have Zelda, no, Adventures of Link, Zelda 2. So, lots of people hate on this game. I used to, but after I sat down and actually played it, I actually quite enjoy it. It's definitely the hardest Zelda game. But, yeah. Uh, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. So this game, a lot of people don't like it, but... As a kid, this is one of the few games I actually had, so I'm actually quite fond of this game. Um, I also have the Batman uh, NES game, which is actually very, very, very hard. I have Contra. Very good game. Very hard. I have Castlevania Classic. I have, you know... Super Mario Bros. 2. This is a, probably my favorite uh, NES Mario Bros. Just because how different it is. Uh, and I also... You gotta have Super Mario Bros. 3. This is regarded as one of the best games of all time. And, you know, definitely one of the best in the NES, NES library. I have Dr. Mario. Yeah, I got Wario Woods. I got this for Christmas one year. Kind of wish I kept the box. <laughs> but I didn't. I also have DuckTales! Uh, <laughs> trying not to sing the theme song. Woo -woo. Uh, I have Adventure Island! Adventure Island 2! Uh, very shitty copy of Adventure Island 3! Uh, I also have Ice Hockey. It's actually a pretty fun hockey game. This is probably... This is the best hockey game, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you can choose like the size of your players, and uh, it, you would always want to choose like the biggest, fattest players, because then you could just boss around all the skinny ones. It's a very fun uh, NES game, probably one of the only hockey games I actually enjoy. Um, I also have Metroid. So the next game in my NES collection is Bubble Bobble. Uh, very, very fond of this game. Spent countless hours playing this. This is probably my most played NES game that I have in my collection. <laughs> on the cover it says, 
these are two hungry dino mites and they've got bubble fighting fun down tight. So I have one more game in my NES collection. Uh, this is one of the rarest games I own out of all my games. Um, very expensive game to buy, especially now. I think it goes for well over 350 if you wanted to buy it. And that game is the sequel to Bubble Bubble, Bubble Bubble Part 2. Uh, this game is incredibly rare. Uh, part of the reason for that is it came out during Super Nintendo, so no one wanted to buy NES games anymore. So they didn't print very many of these. And yeah, it's incredibly expensive to buy now. So yeah, that's that's my NES collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, I'll probably be uploading more different collection videos in the future. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.